Hello and welcome, welcome back to another video. It's been a long time since we've done anything with the lifted Mazda Speed, so I figured it's about time. We still do drive it from time to time, we just haven't gone real fun with it. But I still drive it to work and stuff like that every once in a while. But yeah, she's still all, she's still alive and well. But the engine bay does tend to get a little warm, gets hot, especially like bumper to bumper traffic or just going low speeds. I'm not really sure why, maybe because I blocked off some of its cooling capabilities. You know, how bad. And also since this car is the Mazda Speed, which means it has the turbo, which even before I did all that, this engine bay always got a little hot. Turbos get really hot, cause a lot of heat in the engine bay. So we're gonna install some hood vents into it to help extract some of that heat. These are the OGR hood vents. Uh, you can get them in all different types of configurations. You can get up to seven of them if you want. So you can put three on that side, three on that side, and one in the middle, in the middle. But I'm just focusing on this side since that's where the turbo is and that's where most of the heat comes from. This process is very, very similar to my Hood vent install into my FRS. Just trace a line, cut a hole, pop some rivets in it, paint it. Should be pretty straightforward, not too difficult. But to make this process a lot easier, I'm going to take the hood off, take it in the garage, and do 95% of the work in the Got to tie the hood. To remove the hood, it's pretty straightforward. Just four bolts to hold the hood on. Undo the washer tube and lift the hood off. Pretty easy. Hey, the hood is in the garage. I got them on some stands. Uh, put some padding, something not to scrape, scrape up the paint. As you can see, the inside of the hood had a natural outline in the bracing. Kind of show you where you have to cut. So. That part's pretty simple of knowing where to cut. You just follow the outside. Uh, the kit also comes with some weather stripping and some rivets. Like I said, this car was pretty much the same way. I do have a link to that up here if you want to see the install of that. Very similar. Quite a few different ways you can go about doing this. Different types of tools. I like to have options just whatever you have what was easier for you this is probably one of the easier things to have but this mine's kind of janky i didn't buy a new one i also need a new blade but normally i will drill a big hole the drill in the middle of the panel then start making my cut around these guys are good for using a cut rule to make long straight cuts but once you get in tight corners and circles they're not very handy Throw something like this and this come in handy. And also, I recommend taping off this if you're using one of these because it will vibrate against the panel and scrape up your paint. Not that I care about this paint. So let's get into what I do best. Let's just cut shit up, screw it up, make it look ugly. I like to start off by drilling a pretty big hole in the center. Kind of gives me a good starting point and a place to put my saw blade. Some of the tighter corners, sometimes it's easier to drill a hole there or kind of you can get closer to the corner. OK, 
Okay, I got my three big holes. And to be honest, I'm not too thrilled with the, this product. Because even though I trimmed the whole thingy, uh, it's still, it's still not going to fit. I'm going to have to trim even more for these. For where it sits right now, that I can't turn these up. If not, it's going to hit the edges. So I'm going to have to trim up even more around it so these don't exactly fit perfectly. Especially on this one. See, the ones I did on this core, it came with an actual template that you traced out, and that way you got your cut perfect. These are kind of any type of template, so you have to wing it a little bit. But I do have a game plan. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some masking tape, tape off the outer area of the hole hole, mark my holes, then just trim out as much as I can without going to the holes, and do that two more times. You can see here how much extra I'm going to have to take out in order for these things to fit. If you're using a jigsaw like this one, it's a good idea to tape off all the metal bits. That way you're not scraping it against the hood while you do this. Mess up your paint. If you want to add extra protection, you can also like tape down some cardboard or something that's a little thicker on top of the hood. That way you're gliding across it and not the hood itself. Okay, I got all my holes in large so don't interfere with the little fins now. Next on the engine is to actually do the little holes, little manning holes, the rivet holes. So I'm gonna probably do it one at a time, that way I make sure it's settled in the right spot. Use my clinkos to secure it, and after that's done, I still have to paint them. Okay, so it's still this bare metal, aluminum. I always like to make my pilot hole of a smaller bit before going over to my 1 8 drill bit which is the size of my rivet. And you also don't have to have these Klinko plyo tools to do this. This is something I have laying around. But it does come in handy if you do a lot of sheet metal or do a lot of rivets in general. Now that I have it kind of temporarily riveted down, I can bend my fins to where I want it. Now I just gotta do it two more times. The other two done. Okay, got the last two done. Got to bent up the way I want it. And now I have to take them back off. I'll make a few little trims, clean up, clean it up a little bit. Then I'm gonna paint them. Okay, why those? dry. Let's talk about some other benefits of why you would want vents. Not only is it good for heat extraction, it's good for aerodynamics. Air goes into your radiator and has nowhere to go. So it's better for cooling and aerodynamics I guess. The, the faster the air goes in and comes out, more air can come in and repeats the process. So it's extracting all that air. It's also, it keeps from all the air from getting stuck underneath your hood and, and uh, making lift, I guess, 
because it's stuck, has nowhere to go. But that stuff's more for race car purposes, which the Miata isn't really much of a race car anymore. I mean, it does rally cross sometimes, but you're generally not going that fast. Also, if you want to go the extra mile, you can tape off the the backside and the outside and paint around the edges. I'm going to make it look extra nice, extra good, but. This is a aluminum hood that's not steel, so it's not really going to rust. So I'm probably not going to do that, since the car looks like shit anyway. I'm not going to go to extra mile, but still not a bad idea to do it. If it's like for a show car or something, or a nice street car, I'm just going to send it. Okay, all my vents are painted. Uh, I did get set back a few hours because this morning I went to put some clear coat on it. And it started bubbling up and flaking and yeah, completely messed up the paint. So I had to sand them down and repaint them. So that sucks. But they're done again. So now it's time to actually rivet it onto the hood. And of course, these get riveted on, so you're gonna need a rivet gun. You can buy these pretty cheap. Plan is I'm gonna put some clinkos in it to make sure it's nice and tight and do a rivet one at a time. Hey, and it's done. The only thing left is to actually put it back on the Miata. See how it looks on the car. Overall, not very hard to do. As long as you take your time with the cuts, especially if you wanted to make it look pretty. I kind of rest a little bit on my cuts, and even then, they look, they look good. You can't really tell or see any screw ups or anything. Overall, looks pretty clean. Now it did come with this trimming that goes along the edge but I really didn't like how that looked when this is sandwiched between the hood and the, the vent and it just looks funny. If you're going for a more clean look this might look good on your car since I tend to like the more race car you look. I think this looks just fine. Hey vents are done, hood's back on the car, looks pretty good. It almost looks too clean, so I need to dirty it up so it kind of matches the rest of the car. Above all, I like it. Hopefully it will reduce some of the temperatures underneath the hood, but only time will tell. Uh, this is usually meant for like track cars, race cars and stuff, but if you're doing track car build, I recommend getting them on the other side as well or you don't have to get all, all three but also get one or two on this side that way it kind of equals out the airflow because they're really meant to extract heat going the air going into the radiator and it coming out of the hood it's with its main purposes so if you're doing track car stuff get more than this one side we really need to do some more off-roady stuff in this thing I do need to replace the battery by the main reason why we don't I don't drive as much as I should because oh, I have to jump the damn thing off every time. That gets annoying. But other than that, the car's good, solid, ready to go. But hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you got something out of it. If you're planning on cutting big holes in your hood, let me know in the comments. And yeah, if you haven't already, 
hit that subscribe button, like button, bell, all that stizzy-zazzy stuff. And I'll see you next time. Peace.